Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jack Attack 45 and today I'm bringing you guys another Pack Attack episode. Now this one was actually recorded while I was at work. I just recorded my screen and uh, you guys will be seeing on the screen here. So it's not going to be a live com, but it's still going to be sweet because it's still a Pack Attack episode. Here's the packs right about now. And as you guys can see, I'm going to be going for on my screen here this premium gold jumbo. Now these packs have treated me pretty well. They're only 15,000. So uh, this is actually during happy hour. And uh, this is just like normal, only I'm not actually recording it while I'm live. So I can just, you know, hopefully get the pronunciations right and hopefully just point out the players that uh, that I want to point out. So here we go. Here's the opening of the pack. And uh, we'll see what we can get here. Now, the reason why I like these packs, other than the uh, rare players packs, is because these packs have contracts in them, guys. And I am always running low on contracts, and I hate... Uh, paying a thousand coins for gold rare contract. So as you guys can see, I got a contract. I got a really bad left back. I got uh, some some more contracts. A team talk which actually sold sold for twelve hundred. Another mediocre player. Squad fitness. A player fitness. Um, another just not the best players here. Uh, a center mid from Italy. Uh, another rare contract here. A silver contract and uh, healing which always go for pretty good profit and then uh, random badge that I'm using now actually and then uh, a goalkeeper from Denmark who actually sold for 1200 a healing card those are always good they go for about 1200 to 1500 and then another contract so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send all these contracts uh, to my club and then I'm gonna send all the things that I think I can make some money on to my trade pile and uh, you know this that's really why I like these packs guys because they give me a steady stream of contracts I didn't actually run out from last week so that was nice um, contracts have just been so expensive and uh, you know it's just been tough to try to find contracts that are under you know 800 900 coins and uh, as you guys can see didn't get any players that were that great I was actually like uh, because I work at a welcome desk and I was actually sitting there, um, I was swiping people's cards they were walking in because they got to swipe uh, their card and I was um, pausing so you'll see me pause throughout this video and just be like, oh I got to swipe somebody's card, hold on. But I mean guys, it's still a pack opening, I still had a good time, I just couldn't do the commentary while I was sitting there obviously because they probably wouldn't like it if I was making YouTube videos, well I was making YouTube video, but they probably wouldn't like if I was doing commentary, talking to my computer while they were walking in. So I'm just sending all my... Uh, all the stuff that I think I can sell to the trade pile, all my contracts to my club because I always use those playing in the tournaments and stuff, playing games, and then uh, I just send, I think I just discard the rest of this because there's not that many, there wasn't that many great players. I think I keep the goalkeeper for some reason, but uh, that center attacking mid was from Argentina. It was actually a 79, so I might have been able to sell him, but I wasn't really worried about it too much. As you guys can see down on the right, I have 763,000 coins, and that is up back to, I think I have 940-something, 940-some thousand. But uh, guys, what I was thinking about doing about with that, here I go to buy my second premium gold jumbo. Somebody actually just sold on my trade pots what I was uh, doing down, mentioning down there. But I was thinking about doing like a daily, or not a daily, uh, every couple days just showing you guys my deals, even though it's not Quest for a Million. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see that. But here's the next pack. And uh, as you guys can see over there on the right, I got a David Silva. Um, he plays in the League of BV, BVA, so I actually sold him. I'll tell you how much I sold him for when I get there. And then, guys, I always like to see these contracts. You know, these contracts go for anywhere from 1 to 1.5K nowadays, so you can kind of get your money back basically just on those and uh, as you guys can see not any good players so far um, Marchina he's actually I actually sold him for 1200 so that was a pretty good pick up there and then uh, I got a few uh, other players got a few formation cards uh, contract and this is where I was swiping somebody's card I think I was like it's completely stalled there for a second and then let's see who else um, Tiago Mata uh, he's pretty good. Plays for Inter Milan. Too bad I didn't get the inform of him. And then the healing card sold for 800. And then Suzoko and then David Silva. Obviously David Silva being the best player that I got in any of these packs. So I was pretty happy about that. And now guys I'm just sending all my uh, contracts to my trade pile. Or not my trade pile. To my club so I can use them later. And you know just doing how I do it. Just uh, sending these to my trade pile here. Sending them to my club if I think I can use them in the future and I don't worry about those uh, 
those uh, player stat upgrades, those seem to not go very well. So I always usually just discard those. Those uh, plus all plus six and all plus tens, though, they do go. Um, people like to put those up on trades just so, you know, people think that they're better players or something. I don't know. And I sent my David Silva to the trade pile. It actually kind of sucks because he was in a 5 2 2 1, which is not a very popular formation, and it doesn't have a CA cam in it. So as I could have got more out of him, but uh, that's not that big a deal. And then um, sent, just for finishing up, sending the rest of this stuff to my trade pile, sending it in the right spot. And uh, he was actually worth nothing. And then, uh, let's see, do I do anything else? I think I discard. Oh, nope, I send the manager. And then I think I discard everything else. Because, you know, they're not. Maybe I just keep everything. Oh, I just keep everything. And then I go to my trade pile, guys. I'll show you that I, my Inform Ribri sold and my Inform Maggio sold. I bought, I made about 6K on Maggio and uh, 13 or 14K on Ribri, so I was pretty pumped about that. And as you guys can see down the right-hand side, 968,000 coins. And, uh, you know, I've been doing uh, good things with my coins, guys. I can't tell you exactly what I'm doing yet. I'll probably uh, update you guys on that in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about what's going on with my uh, my coins. And uh, as you guys can see, I was pretty happy about that David Silva um, you know, pretty good pickup. I ended up selling him for, I think it was 3,800 and then I sold that Sorensen for 1,200 and then, um, basically all the other players sold for, I don't know, 300 to 400 coins, you know, not that big a deal. And then I, of course, got all my contracts and my healing card and my squad, um, team talk got, uh, 1,200 each. So I was pretty happy about that. And as you guys can see, still buying and selling those informs, just keep getting more, uh, you know, stuff keep getting more coins I love I love making more coins guys I can never stop I'm addicted to it but yeah guys make sure to like comment subscribe if you like this video I hope you did I'm sorry I didn't do a live commentary this time but uh, don't worry I'll be back to my live comms I was just at work I did not realize the happy hours be was gonna be during work but yeah guys make sure to like comment subscribe and if you like the idea of me doing a daily update uh, on my trade not daily couple every couple days showing you my bargains uh, just let me know about that but anyways, guys, this is Jack Attack 45 signing out. Peace.